You've heard, of, heard us talk about it. Stress can kill, but did you know it can also make you less intelligent? We hit the streets to find out the dumbest thing you've ever done when you were under pressure. The dumbest thing I've ever done when I've been stressed out is one time I was so nervous for an audition that I walked up on stage and I completely forgot my name. It was all bad after that. One time I was going to grab a pizza and I ended up at my ex's house. Yeah, I hope she didn't see me because she'd probably think I was psychotic. I got a call from work telling me I, my deadline had been moved up for a whole week. I totally stressed out and forgot that I had left my engine running, my car doors open, and my car on the street full of groceries for like two and a half hours. <laughs> it is so, it's actually really, really true. People can do very stupid things when they're under chronic stress. It actually drops your IQ. This is supported scientifically, a couple studies, one uh, at a university in India, another at a journal called Cell Press. They both studied cognitive function mentation uh, connected with stress and it clearly goes down, it is affected in a negative way. But, but let me show you all this animation. It'll really hit home what happens. If you're really stressed out, certain areas of your brain are affected. The amygdala, the hippocampus, responsible for memory, and the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex, absolutely essential for higher level thinking. That's where a lot of the cognitive thinking occurs. But when you're stressed out, that area is especially vulnerable. These catecholamines. Those are released by your adrenal glands due to the stress response, things like adrenaline. It actually suppresses your prefrontal cortex. It suppresses your ability to genuinely think because when you're stressed, it's the whole fight or flight phenomena. Your body is telling you, don't think, run. Don't think, run. And then what it does is it actually stores that stressful memory in your hippocampus so that the next time you encounter that stress, you remember it to be a bad thing, becomes a cycle of avoidance and fear, and you can't think. You can't think through things. Yeah, and if you realize how inefficient you are when that happens, remember your teenagers, that prefrontal cortex isn't even developed on them. It's not even grown yet. So if you wonder next time you think your kids do something really stupid, just think about the time yours was paralyzed and you did something stupid, theirs isn't even fully grown yet. So don't be quite so harsh on them. The mind-body connection is astounding, Travis. I mean, the mind-body connection is so profound. And that's one of the things I want people to get out of life code. One of the reasons that I wrote this book is I want people to understand if you're not starring in your own life, really, if you're keeping that beach ball underwater, it's draining your life energy. And everything about you, all of these physiological triggers that we're talking about are out of balance for you. And so life just gets hard. But when you really find your passion and you start living that sweet 16 that I'm talking about where you know your currency, you have a plan, and that image that you're projecting is truly who you are, my God, life gets easy. So I just, I want people to read this to do a life audit and say, am I truly being who I am? Because if you're not, all of that stress, all of those things in the mind-body connection just make life an uphill battle. They just make it a chore. And it doesn't have to be that way. And that passion and success turns into good <clears throat> health because you feel good it about does. yourself. You're going to take care of yourself. You got your mojo flow and everything mm -hmm. is in balance and you're not fighting it with stress all the time. Right, which can kill you. And it, it doesn't does. mean that every day is going to be perfect. What it means is the way you react to each and every day, that is within your control. And if you're watching at home, you can get a copy of Dr. Phil's Life Code, which was published by our executive producer, Jay McGraw, anywhere that books are sold.